Hello, I am Chitra Ranawat, working as assistant professor in computer science and engineering, SIRT Bhopal. Today's topic is artificial neuron, which is belonging to the subject machine learning, taught in the sixth semester. Here are the basic outlines of the course. First, we discuss about the introduction to machine learning basic building blocks. Then we have talked about the introduction of, to the biological neuron. Then we have talked about the introduction to machine, sorry, artificial neuron. We give the contrast with the biological neurons and the artificial neurons. And then we discuss the first neuron model, Macaul Pitts model. Then we will see how Macaul Pitts model will be related to the very uh, machine learning basic building blocks. Here, we are discussing basic six fundamental building blocks, data, task, model, learning, loss, and evolution. We know to solve any machine learning problem, we have to develop some models. Each problem, which solution we want to provide through machine learning is having some specific task. Example, whether patient is diabetic or not. For that, we need some specific data to perform this specific task. Example, we require the data in which diabetic or non-diabetic patient's information is stored. According to this specific task, we have to build a model as model performing a task. The model will train and teach by using the various learning algorithms. After learning model will generate some errors during or after the training on the test data, test data, which will be measured in term of losses. After completing this, we try to evaluate our model in the term of accuracy. How accurate our model will work? This is come in the evolution. Now I hope, now I assume you understand the basic flow with the fundamental building blocks, which we seen data, task, model, learning, losses, and the evolution. One more important thing here, which I want to discuss is if we want to prepare any model, model can be developed by using various different techniques. Model can be developed like using neural network, decision tree, support vector machines, and pattern recognition, any other, etc. Here, we start we're talking about model as a neural network. For this purpose, first, we have to generate the basic or the fundamental, uh, we have to generate the basic and the fundamental unit of the neurons. Let's see how neurons, how first we discuss how biological neurons behaves. In this diagram, as you seen, the biological neurons, two biological neurons are given. The bio neurons basically are capable to receive the signal from the outside, process the incoming signals and determine whether or not the information should be passed along. And they are also capable to communicate signal to the target cell, which might be other neuron or muscular or gland or any sensory organs. Now, look at the basic part of a neuron to get a deeper insight into how they actually work. A biological neuron is mainly composed of three main parts as parts and an external part called the synapse. The first part is called as dendrite. 
are responsible for getting incoming signal from outside soma is the cell body responsible for processing the input signal and deciding whether a neuron should fire an output or a signal exons is responsible for getting process signal from the neurons to the relevant cell synapse is the connection between an axon and the other neuron dendrites here we discussing the working of the bio neurons is as the task of receiving the incoming information is done by the dendrite and processing generally take place in the cell body called soma incoming signal can be either excit excitatory signals or inhibitory signals excitatory signals which means they tends to make the neuron fire like a electric impulse or inhibitory signals which means they that they tends to keep the neuron from firing the most neurons receives many input signals throughout their dendrite tree a single neuron may have more than one set of dendrites and may receives many thousand of input signals whether or not a neuron is excited into the firing and impulse depends on the sum of all of excitatory excitatory and inhibitory signals it receives the processing of this information happens in soma which is neuron cell body if the neurons does end up firing the nerve impulse or action potential is conducted down the axon and nothing will happen okay now we will discuss or try to uh, understand the artificial neuron here as we seen in the diagram many inputs are passing with their weights aggregated weight to a circle in this circle we define a function f and it will process all the aggregated inputs with their weights and gives the output as the y as seen in this picture x1 x2 x3 these all are the input signals w1 w2 w3 are the weight f is the function which will be performed on this uh, input and aggregated input and weight signals and will generate the respective output here now we try to develop some analogy and the connections between the artificial neurons and the biological neurons dendrite is actually brings the input from the another neuron or any other sensory organ so they are like input passing to the artificial neuron as in seen the dendrite is treated as the input for the artificial neuron x1 x2 x3 are behave like dendrites now synapse governs the strength of the neuron in the action so weight indicated by the synapse here like w1 w2 and w3 soma is take place all the inputs and process it in treated like a function which takes aggregated sum of the inputs and weights to it and process so here soma is behave like this circle and the function f will be performed on these aggregated values and axon is treated like the it complete its a processing and senses by the another neuron or sensory organ of our body means it provides the output from the artificial neuron to the outside world in an artificial neural network it may be gives the final output or it output can be generated for the another neuron which will be consecutive in the next layer now in the next slide first we talked about the very basic and the first neural model the first artificial neuron named as macaul pitts neuron 
was developed by two persons one was the walter pitts who was the logician and the another was warner macall pitt warner macall who was a neuroscientist they believe as our simplest model which they developed work as that brain works they want to develop machine to simulate as our brain the first uh, macall pitts neural model was developed in the 1943 the next in this last slide we try to uh, make the analogy between the different basic component of the model with macall pitts model as we see the model will work on the different data different task performed by the model loss function will be used for the objective for deriving the learning for this model and then we evaluate the model thank you stay tuned and keep learning from sit bhopal thank you very much